Ah, right. Well, Prusa clone electrical upgrade week continues where I am sort of putting the final uh, power supplies in place, doing the wiring properly and doing a few upgrades, sort of stroke safety, stroke modifications uh, to my printer. So today I'm going to be sort of tackling a few changes to the ramps board and the Arduino. Uh, yeah, I just need to, well, get rid of the junky polyfuses on the ramps board and uh, what else? Uh, yeah, get rid of the four pin connector, although it's not 100% necessary now. We're not pumping a load of power through it. Um, if you are going to be pumping power through that connector, get a better connector or yeah, get rid of it and put the wires on directly. But in my case, well, it's uh, just unnecessary and it gets in the way, so it's going. Uh, we also need to find a little signal wire or a source of a signal to uh, trigger our gate on the MOSFET that we did in the last video. And uh, finally, I'm going to be doing a little modification to the Arduino, which really isn't that much of an upgrade or modification. It's just, well, you'll see, won't you? So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Right, so the first thing is just to get a bit ugly with it. Tear off the uh, four pin connector. It's not really a massive problem because we're not putting heat bed power through it. But anyway, it's kind of a bit chunky in the way and uh, I just rather solder the wires directly to it. So yeah, just uh, you have to get pretty aggressive with it. You're just slightly concerned it might be uh, destroying the PCB or the traces underneath, but uh, just cut it away as best as I could. Get the old uh, solder pump on to get the solder out of the holes, a bit of solder wick to clean up the solder on the surface. And uh, yeah, there we go. So the next thing to come off the old ramps board is those polyfuses. I'm going to replace them with this spade fuse uh, holder and spade fuses. Got a couple there. And uh, so, yeah, pretty much the same old story, really. A bit of solder wick to get rid of as much of the solder as possible from the bottom. Heat them up and, uh, yeah, pull those old crappy uh, polyfuses out. Then I just need to clean up the uh, mess that I've made, basically. Again, it's a bit of solder wick, solder pump just to clean the pads up because well, obviously we can't leave it like this. We're going to have to uh, bridge these connections. Otherwise, there's no power getting through from the uh, connectors. So I drill them out slightly bigger, get a little bit of two and a half square mil copper wire, bend it into some little sort of uh, bridge little things, stick a bit of heat sink on it, push it in so it bridges the uh, or connects the two parts of the PCB together, solder them together underneath and uh, yeah, then shrink the old heat shrink into place. And the next thing to do is to solder back the uh, main power wires where the four pin connector used to be. And uh, because I got a little bit over eager drilling the holes out, probably about half a mil too big, I didn't leave myself with that much copper. So I had to scrape away some of the silk screen on the PCB to reveal a bit more copper. And uh, yeah, so they are soldered back to the board. Just adding a little bit of tape to hold them together whilst I transport them around. And there it is. So the last little task on the ramps board is to take a feed directly from a uh, pin D8 of the Arduino. Well, actually it's not, but this is the other end of that pin uh, that we're going to be feeding our MOSFET that we created in the last video for driving the heated bed. Just checking the continuity that everything's connected OK and uh, yeah, job done. And that is our ramps all ready to go back in. So moving on to the Arduino itself. In fact, there are real no major modifications I need. I am here removing the uh, DC power jack, not for any other reason than that it gets in the way of uh, the way I intend to mount it. So again, solder pump, <laughs> heat the thing up, put it out, clean up the old pads. And uh, yeah, there we go. And it's going to fit much better like that for me. <coughs> Right, well, yeah, that's those two things sort of ready to go back in. The ramp's all done. Uh, yeah, I did add a, an extra wire, this little red wire there, which uh, is just providing a teeny weeny amount of power to the uh, second 12 volt input, which is purely uh, <laughs> powering that LED now. That's all that's doing. And uh, yeah, that's that. And the Arduino minus the little uh, DC jack we don't need because, well, it just gets in my way of how I'm going to mount these. So I'm actually getting a little bit excited again now because, uh, well, although the printer was sort of up and running and then functionality was kind of finished, it was still a pile of crap. <laughs> it looked like a pile of crap. There was wires and junk everywhere. So, uh, yeah, going to get a little bit excited about tidying it all up and actually sort of really getting it finished. 
Well, yeah, there is one thing left to be done, and that is to sort out why the LCD gets garbled or corrupted after, well, a variable but quite short amount of time after a minute or two of running. The, the screen shifts everything left, and what was left now becomes right, and quite a long story. We'll do that in the next video.